Hey, I'm Rejected Shotgun. So there's another huge potential leak here for the entire Overwatch community to freak out and obsess over. So it turns out that after the Horizon Lunar Colony releases, there's likely going to be two new maps entering the game within this year, potentially even sooner. We know the names of these maps and potentially the actual real life locations they're based on. So today we're going to talk about it. Before I get into these leaks, I just really quickly wanted to remind you guys to check out my brother's channel. He goes by Cheap Dish Soap, and there's a channel link in the description. I would appreciate it if you go check out his channel and subscribe if you like his content. Anyway, back to the leaks. So, in a previous post on the Overwatch forums last year, Jeff Kaplan himself confirmed that there were going to be three new arena maps coming to the game, as well as three other maps that will be in the quick play and competitive pool. Now, of course, we do know that we got the three new arena maps in the big anniversary update and they completely changed the way we play 3v3s and 1v1s. As far as the maps that are going into the quick play and competitive pool, well, we only have one of those so far and it's on the PTR as of recording this and that map is Horizon Lunar Colony, which is a two capture point map. Now, in Overwatch, we know there's multiple different game modes for every map. For example, Horizon Lunar Colony is a two capture point map or while Eichenwald is a hybrid escort and capture point map. So, Horizon Lunar Colony, this is the first map this year out of the three that Jeff has been talking about will be released. Now, this is a two capture point map. You just capture the two points and you win. However, there are two other maps this year that are said to release, confirmed by Jeff Kaplan himself, and a user on Reddit by the name of Richard Griffin, who's the same person that discovered the 2017 Summer Games icons, has been digging around in the game's files, and he thinks he may have actually found and data mined the next two maps. Now, unfortunately, these two maps do not have any images or sound files associated with them. However, there's a very good chance, based on the name, we actually know where these are going to take place. So, the first map that he discovered is called Manganui Escort. Now, Manganui is supposedly an escort map because what he data mined was the string Manganui underscore ES, which is supposed to stand for escort. So, for the real life equivalent of Manganui, it's a mountain in New Zealand called Mount Manganui. So, New Zealand, what Overwatch characters are actually from New Zealand? Well, most people don't know this, but Roadhog is actually from New Zealand, and Manganui is right in the city of Taronga, New Zealand. So most likely this map, Manganui Escort, is going to take place near or on Mount Manganui in the country of New Zealand, more specifically the city of Taronga. And this is of course going to be an escort map based on the suffix after the underscore in the string name that was data mined. So that's a lot to take in for a single map, but crazy enough there's another map which I'll get to in a minute. But I have a feeling that this is going to take place in the crazy wastes of New Zealand. We know that in the story of Overwatch, Australia has been completely decimated. Australia is uh, basically just a giant mech robot cancer place where there's radiation everywhere and you just, there's a lot of crazy people there. That's where Junkrat comes from. So, New Zealand is extremely close to Australia. It's just a small island off the shore and it's likely very similar in beauty and destruction to how Australia is. So Mount Manganui is going to be likely the next map coming to Overwatch, but there is another one, Utopia. Utopia is a fictional city set in India. The actual string for this map is Utopia underscore C. Now, the actual game mode for this map, I'm not entirely sure what underscore C stands for, for example, Horizon Lunar Colony is underscore CP for capture point, while Manganui is underscore ES for escort. However, Utopia is just underscore C. Now, I would want to assume that means hybrid, but I would assume an H would stand for hybrid. So while I will just assume for now that this map is some kind of capture point or hybrid, I don't exactly know what it is, but I do know the potential location for this. In the Overwatch universe, we know that Symmetra is from India. And in the Overwatch universe, there is a city there called Utopia, and that is actually where Symmetra is from. And recently, in the anniversary event for Overwatch, celebrating Overwatch's first year anniversary, Symmetra got a skin called Utopia. And it looks awesome, and I have to say I love that skin, it's definitely the best one that she has. But also, this is a callback to 
Symmetra's origins. She comes from a place called Utopia. And this third map that is being data mined is also called Utopia. So I think it's a very, very safe thing to say that Utopia is going to be the third map. Now, I would like to say that there is absolute definite proof for these maps, but there is no absolute definite proof. We just have some very strong correlations between what Jeff Kaplan said for the three new maps coming into the competitive and quick play pool and the Horizon Lunar Colony plus these two maps adding up to three. That is very, very convincing to me. However, we do not know for a fact if this leak is real, but I would like to say Richard Griffin is a trustworthy source and that these maps are going to be coming to the game this year. And I am incredibly excited for this since we already have the Horizon Lunar Colony on the PTR and will be coming to the actual game very soon. So next, we're going to be waiting for Manganui and then far into the future, we're likely going to see Utopia. So that's going to be incredibly exciting. And I hope you are also very excited for these maps because while I love events, to me, maps are the greatest thing that can be added to the game because it's a whole new way to play all the stuff that's already in the game. If you haven't checked out some of my other videos, I highly recommend you do. I keep up to date with Overwatch news every day and there's always going to be something for you to check out on my channel. I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe for more Overwatch news or if you're already subscribed, leave a like and show some love. That's all I got for today's video though. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Like